Hello everyone. I have a nice little recipe for all of you. It is so easy to make and I promise you, you guys are going to love it. It is a very simple ricotta cheese and if you wait and age it, it becomes more of a sliceable cheese. But we're going to make it into a ricotta cheese. My daughter wants to maybe stuff some uh, shells. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this cheese. And it really takes no time at all. And all you need is one ingredient. So here's the cheese. I'm not going to slice it right now because I have this chilling in the fridge. That's why I have paper towels. It's going to help absorb even more water. And that's going to make that cheese even that much more creamier. So I'm going to push this aside and I'm going to show you the first step that you need to do. And this is what I am using. I'm using pumpkin seeds. Now, you can buy non-organic. The organic is a little more. Uh, maybe you could go to Bulk Barn and just get yourself a nice big bag of pumpkin seeds. Because that's what you need. That's why the cheese has a little bit of a light green color. Uh, I'm going to start off with just soaking some of these. And you really don't even need to measure this. But we will measure it just for the fun. Now, the more you make, the more you get. And if you make it, if you have less, well, you're going to get less cheese. But the good thing is, one cup to start off with. There we go. So we have one cup. Two cups. And that's going to give us a nice size ricotta. And all we do now is we're going to add water to this. And we're just going to let it sit overnight. The trick is you want this sitting overnight. If you can't wait, then I say let it soak for at least two to three hours. Okay. Here we are. I'm going to put a lid on this. You could actually rinse, the, uh, rinse them a couple of times. You're going to notice your water is going to get... Uh, a little green but don't throw away that water your plants are going to love you if you put this in a watering can and you water your plants you're able to waste nothing nothing now i'm going to put this aside and i'm going to show you because you will have pulp and you don't want to waste that right i've been dehydrating my crackers that i made with the pulp now these are completely raw and all I did was I added some onion I put some salt black pepper a little bit of chili flakes and that's all I put in here and I blended it all together and then of course you need to either use some parchment or a mylar where you stretch this out and you need a dehydrator you can maybe put them in the oven on the lowest heat but they're not going to be considered raw uh, raw is anything under 118. So you can put it on a low setting and just be careful you don't burn them because then you're going to get toasted crackers. But it really doesn't matter, right? But there you go. We waste nothing. With this recipe, you're going to waste nothing. You definitely have to make this cheese. It is delicious. And the crackers are just as good as the cheese. So I'm going to see you tomorrow. And uh, we're going to make that cheese and show you how simple it is. And you're going to be so addicted to this cheese. And the best part is that it is plant-based, guys. So I'm going to say hang in there and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys, we're back. And now I'm going to show you how we're going to make this cheese. Very simple. I'll show you my seeds that I've been soaking. Here we go. And I am going to rinse this. Like I said, I'm going to save the water because the water is very good for your plants. But I'm going to rinse this until the water is nice and clean. If you don't have a Vitamix, uh, any high power blender will do, like a Nutribullet. Also, how much water really doesn't make a difference. And I'll explain that to you later. And when I first made it, when I tried out this cheese the first time, I was like blown away. I said, okay, what just happened here? When I tell you this cheese is simple to make, it's very simple to make. So I'm going to rinse this and I'll be back.
there is my beautiful seeds now that they're soaked they're almost three cups so I'm just gonna add water in here and I'm gonna add it almost to the top but you could also add less and I'll explain to you how that works but if I add a little extra water it's going to be easier for me to squeeze it out into a nut bag so I'm going to start putting some water in here this is the water that was soaking as you can tell it's kind of greenish in tint and if you give this to your plants I promise you your plants are going to love you so this goes into a watering can and I'll be able to feed my plants with this there we go it's as clear as I'm gonna get it right now now where does my water reach uh, almost to the top and I'll explain why I could use less water and you'll see why when I start cooking this I could use less water but it's gonna be harder for me to get all that milk out of the seeds so I use a little extra water and it's gonna help me extract most of the milk out of the seeds and that's what I'm looking for to extract as much as I can and the only way to do it is to add at least double the amount so if your seeds are at uh, three cups once they've been soaking then you want to add enough water that it goes up to at least six to seven cups or put it as high as you can without it having to spill out when you're blending it so I'm gonna start blending this it'll all make sense when you do it okay for the life of me I can't find my cotton bag so I'm stuck using this one so I'm gonna squeeze but I'm not gonna over squeeze now why is it that you need a powerful blender because you want to get this as creamy as possible otherwise you're gonna be left with too many chunks now notice oh that's not something I wanted done okay we will squeeze this out and get a new bag guys this is when you don't have enough hands and you're where you're making your videos not the best video okay we're gonna just squeeze as much as we can out of here and I need a new bag otherwise I'm gonna end up getting pulp there we go let me just wash my hand again get in your bag okay and I'll show you something I like to put my bags upside down when I do this so nothing gets stuck in the seams so it goes this way okay so I am gonna slowly add it in I'm not even sure if you could see it let me see if I could zoom out a bit a little better okay there we go I'm gonna use my left hand so I don't use my right hand I've got band-aids and everything fixing trying to hold my thumb in place because I really messed that up so we're gonna get as much milk as we can I will add a little extra water in my blender to pick up as much as I can and then I'm gonna run it through my nut bag again because I want to get as much milk as I can because this is the magical milk and now I make rigata always out of this 
I don't use, well, sometimes I do. Depends how white I want my regatta. See, by adding some extra water in here, I'm gonna be able to pull up more milk. When I start cooking this, you're gonna realize why it makes no difference how much water you really have. I just wanna extract as, mu as much milk as I can. The more milk you can extract, the more ricotta you're gonna have. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here, add the other stuff from the first batch in my bag that busted on me. Okay, so here's my nut bag. I'm just gonna add some extra water in my blender and I'll be back. Okay. Not too much water. But enough to re-wet my seeds. Try and get all the pulp in the bag. Notice I'm still extracting milk just by adding some extra water to this. Probably do it one more time, but I'll probably do it just once. Now, all this pulp, I'm going to make a batch of crackers later. I'll show you how easy it really is. Okay. We'll save that for the crackers. I'll put this on the side. Here we go and pull this up to you. Let me just adjust this. Sorry, the angle is not the best. I apologize. Okay, put that over. Let me wash my hands. Okay. So now we have our milk that we extracted from the pumpkin seeds. Now, do I want it to be greenish in color or do I want it a little lighter? If you're okay with this color, like Erica says, it doesn't matter, Ma. You can make it that color. To me, it makes no difference. Then, by all means, start cooking it. And we don't want to cook this on high. We want to cook it on a medium to low. Otherwise, you're going to scorch the bottom of the of, of the pot and the milk would be stuck to it so but i want to make this a little lighter to get more of a lighter regatta so i'm going to use a little extra soy milk in it remember you don't have to put soy milk whatsoever but i want it lighter and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put just a bit here we go it's just going to make the regatta not, not as kind of greenish. But, like I said, you don't have to use the soy milk whatsoever. It's still going to be delicious. And I'm going to show you the one that I made that I did not use the soy milk. And you'll see what I mean by the color. There it is. Just a little green in color, but oh my God, when I tell you this is gonna be delicious, my daughter, well, even my husband, but my daughter goes nuts for this. So I'm always making it because it really takes no time at all, guys. And you'll see why it does. But beautiful, beautiful regatta. I'm gonna push this milk aside. Like I said, I only use the soy milk so it could just whiten up the cheese a bit. Eric, I'm gonna probably need you, sweetie. I just wanna show you what the cheese looks like. Eric, I just wanted a bit the other day, so I made her a small batch, but that's the cheese without the 
soy milk. The soy milk will make it just a little lighter in color. And the taste of this is to die for. When I tell you it's delicious, it's delicious. So I'm going to enjoy this one. Mm. So good. Okay. Put this aside because Erica's going to have some for sure. Mm. So, so good. Okay. Mm. Very dangerous cheese. Because... I could just sit there and eat the whole thing. Okay, so we're going to add salt. And salt is really to taste. But when you're making cheese, you want it kind of a little salty. Okay? Now, to this, for flavor, I will not leave it in. After I will pull it out, I'm going to take garlic clove. I could do this without hurting my bad hand. And I'm going to use it in the milk. Okay, so I'm just dropping it in and just before the milk starts to curl, and that's what's magical about this milk. This milk curls without any lemon, which is so weird because the first time I made it, I was like, oh my God, what happened here? And it curled without using any lemon or any vinegar. But I will use some. Now, if you're doing a just with the pumpkin seeds, you don't have to use any lemon or vinegar. I prefer it for the reason that it gives the cheese a little tang. All cheese has a little tang. So that's why I will put some, plus I have the soy milk in it. I'm going to use the lemon. But if you're not using lemon and you don't care about the tang, uh, this milk is going to curl without using anything. It is like the miracle, miracle milk. So here we go. We're going to take this up before it starts to curl. I just want to taste it for salt. Mm, just a little extra salt. Okay, so we are going to start cooking this. So I have my lemon ready. Remember, you don't need it. I'm going to just put it up a bit to keep to get it going. And then I will lower it because I do not want to scorch the bottom. And the lemon we use at the end. You're going to see it just starts curdling on its own. It is the weirdest thing ever that happens to this milk. That's why it's the perfect milk to make any form of cheese. Okay, just taste it. I can use a little extra salt. Remember, salt is to your liking. But... Cheese needs a little extra salt. If you notice the cheese that I showed you had little pink specks on top, that's because I sprinkled some Himalayan salt on top of it. I can still use more salt. And you want to get the garlic out when you see it. Or you still can see it. Otherwise, you're like searching for it. But that's going to also add a nice flavor to your cheese. You're going to see as this gets thicker, it's going to start separating. You're going to see the curds are going to start firming. And I have forming. And I haven't even put any lemon or any vinegar to it. Now, regatta is salty, but not over salty. If you're making a different type of cheese, you might want to add uh, extra salt to it. But you could actually age this. You could even put some probiotics. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to steam. 
So that means I can lower this. Now, if you ask me the chemistry part of it, I have no idea why this milk does, why this pumpkin seed milk does separate, but it only separates once it starts to cook. It does not separate if you're making milk. So you want to be able to reduce this a bit. You're going to see it's going to almost like start being like a, a cream texture. You just have to have the patience for it to happen. Now you can sit here and watch me stir it and me blabber, or you can simply fast forward to when it starts to curl on you or it starts to curl on me. But Erica wants to make shell shells with ricotta. This is even good, that regatta is even good on some pasta, just like that. Or... Lasagna. In lasagna. Just to have it on bread with jam. Oh, Lord, it's so good. So, taste. See if it picked up that garlic flavor. You don't want it to taste too much like garlic. Now, because I put soy milk, I would need to put lemon anyhow, just so the, so, uh, the soy milk will curl on me. Otherwise, I would be dumping that soy milk right out of, the, uh, out of the batch. If I don't make the soy milk, soy milk curl, I feel like I have two tongues in my mouth. I, um, I would need the, the lemon anyhow, or white vinegar. But if you're doing just the pumpkin seeds and you're okay without the tang, just leave it up. Okay, you can see it's getting thicker. And soon you're going to see that magic happen. As soon as I see it, I'm going to pull out that garlic. Now you're saying, why are you putting garlic and cheese? Well cheese has a very umami taste and where do you get umami from you get it from things like miso you get it from garlic onion see notice how thick it's getting okay just put this out you can save it throw it in the freezer and you can throw it in a soup oh. and now you're gonna start seeing the separation nature's perfect food here we go you're gonna start seeing how it's starting to curl I can see it from this ed, from this side here. If you don't know how to make cheese, all you have to do is get yourself some pumpkin seed. Do you see what's happening over here? Pumpkin seed milk. Look at that. Isn't that nuts? This is just craziness. And my lemon is still here. I still have lemon in my hands. I didn't put any lemon whatsoever, but yet it's making curds for cheese. You don't want to over stir this now. You just want to be able to make like figure eights. But look what's happening to this. Isn't that crazy? We have curds. Oh, yeah, this smells so good. Okay, so now I am going to shut the oven. Thank you, Erica, for stirring that. And okay, I am going to get... Squeeze. I'm going to 
I get the seeds in. Ooh, what's happening there? I'm getting it all over the stove, but not where I want it. Is that the lemon doing that? Mm hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so we have one. I'm just going to do a figure eight here. And I want to take this off the heat. And we're going to squeeze. If you're okay with no. Uh, with no tang. You well, don't have to. Lemon makes it more cheesy, you know? Yeah, it adds more of a, a tangy flavor, too. Okay, there we go. It also helps it curl a bit more. Yeah, well, it's going to help the, the soy milk curl. But look at those curls. Beautiful. Okay. I am going to leave this aside until it gets nice and cold. Okay, there is my curds and I'm just going to put this aside and I'll be back when it's nice and cool. It doesn't have to be super cold but cooler than what it is and then it gives the lemon a chance to uh, turn the rest of the soy milk that didn't curl, curl for the cheese. All right, guys. Okay, so while that's cooling off, there we go. Erica, you have an eggplant there, right? Yeah, I want to make baba ganoush. I have my bags that I'm going to need. Yeah, I messed up on this one. Okay, so here it is. My beautiful, oh, let me zoom out. I'm always in your face, eh? Sorry, guys. One day I'll get this right. All right. Okay. I am going to put it in a Tupperware and come back to it later or tomorrow. And I'll make you a video on how easy it is to make the crackers I just made. Okay. We could also put the garlic in here because that's going to probably get minced up in there. Let's get my counters clean, right? All right, guys, I'll put this aside and I'm going to wash my bags and then I'll see you when my cheese is cooled off. Well, my curds are cooled off and I'll show you what I use. Uh, you're actually have to show it to you right now if you give me a second. Okay, I'm using this is a very old basket, this is as old as I am. <laughs> But it's made many of cheeses, but now it's retired and it only makes vegan cheeses. So this is the basket I'm using. Uh, you could buy similar baskets like this on Amazon. And you need a dumbbell. That's what I use. If you don't have one of these, just get a simple Tupperware that you could poke holes underneath, maybe some holes on the side. Try and poke it that you poke from the inside and it comes out this way. There's no little bits. Because if you poke it this way, then you're gonna have like little shards in there that's gonna get stuck in your cheese. So poke it from the inside out and you're gonna have your own drainage holes and you can use a Tupperware like this to make your cheese. Okay, let me just show you. Got all the beautiful curds and one of the best regattas uh, taste wise it's so good okay let me just put this aside we're gonna use this and my dog is barking at the birds going to eat I put some seeds some quinoa for my birds okay
There we go. I know. I dirtied more than I should have. <laughs> That's me. Never having what I need on hand, unfortunately. Okay, so here we go. We're going to just pull this out for a bit, take out the water that's going to go for composting. Okay, we have another bowl. And we're going to put this on there. And we're going to start layering this down. There we go. Okay, still letting out liquids. This is going to keep letting out liquids and we're going to have the perfect cheese. There we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to put one of these on top. I'm trying to get it in the best way I could put it. Okay, one of these on top, and one of these on top. There we go. And we're going to let this drip all day long. And then I'm going to show you where we're going to put this ricotta, how we're going to put it. And then it's going to go into the fridge and do the rest of its thing there. But for now, we're going to just keep it here. Once in a while, check, make sure that water is not touching your container because you don't want the cheese to absorb any of that liquid. And it's just going to keep slowly dripping until it just compacts. You're going to have homemade ricotta in no time at all. It's going to be one of the easiest ricotta you have ever made. When I say it, I mean it. So I'll see you in a bit and we're going to continue showing you how simple this cheese really is. So I'm going to see you in a bit, guys. Okay. Let me just pull this off. There we go. All right, guys. Now you're going to need a Tupperware. I'm using this one because it's high enough for the cheese. And we're going to let it sit on some tissue paper. So we're going to start off with, actually, you know what? I am going to double this. Okay. I'm going to pull this out. This is still going to pull up moisture, so I am going to put that under like that. And there is the regatta. I'm going to put this right in there. There we go. And what I'm going to do is change the paper later on and again tomorrow morning. Okay, we're going to double the paper on top. This is going to absorb all the liquids and you cover it and you refrigerate it and that's how simple it is to make delicious ricotta it's not super super white by the way the pink is only the color of the salt that we put on it i'm going to add a little extra on top because we like it let me just check first take just a little off the side here Mm. so good so good 
with the salt. Okay. A little bit of Himalayan salt. You're gonna see. If you don't want to see pink on your salt on your cheese, don't use Himalayan. Use just sea salt. And we're just gonna put the paper on top. And that's it. In the refrigerator goes. Later on, I am going to uh, change the paper, put new paper under and on top, and then again tomorrow morning, and then this cheese is ready to be eaten. My granddaughters came by, and they devour the one out of the fridge, so it is delicious. When I tell you it's delicious, it's delicious. What we're going to do with this cheese is we're going to stuff some shells with some um, fresh basil, and that's going to be one of our dinners so there you go guys i'm gonna say i love you and i'm glad i remember to share this with you i've been wanting to do it and i i always say i'm gonna do it and then i forget and finally i'm home this week we're not at the cabin i decided let me make this video for you guys so i hope you give it a try come back let me know and i'm gonna say thank you and i love you all and i'll see you soon